What's up guys? Recorded some video clips of my AC unit running um, the other day when I got home. I never did upload them, so I might go ahead and edit them now and upload it. But to start off this video, I just want to show you something kind of funny. I was doing a little bit of a search on the internet about people, you know, using single phase input on a three phase VFD. A VFD that's made for three phase input. I found this one thread from just a few years ago. Wow, did this one create a fury. But there was some decent information in there. One of the things, uh, you know, they were all talking power factor and all this stuff. But there was a lot of arguments in there. It just goes to show you, you know, that a lot of people do have some various opinions on stuff like that. But not very many people have actually, like, I guess, put this into practice out in the world and done a lot of testing. One interesting thing I do notice on the ABV page here, single phase D-rate operation. So basically they're saying like on their units to like derate it. So whatever the rating of their VFD is, just use it for half that power. And the reason is, is they're talking about, you know, there'll be a lot more current on the single phase going through the rectifier. So maybe, maybe possibly, you know, <laughs> pulling more current than each individual rectifier is made for, which there are six diodes in one of those three phase rectifiers. And then you're, you're, you're going through less diodes at any given time. And it's also not just that, it's uh, the fact that the current will be a lot more when you do get that quick pulse. Quick, short pulse with more duration in between each pulse. I believe that is why my, uh, my amp probe, when I clamp it on, or any of my clamp-on probe style amp meters, they all read about the same, but I think they're, re they're reading like high. They're just not giving an average that is correct. So because it's a lot of current, but for a lot smaller duty cycle so uh they're saying here to derate it and things like that what i think what i'll do with mine because i might be worried now that maybe it'll fry the rectifier section or maybe it'll be just fine um this is the uh ripple i posted this the other day on my um, page just as a photo and you got looks like about a 20 volt ripple now there's always going to be some ripple your ac voltage sine waves goes up higher than the dc bus that's only when you get the current coming in and it's charging the capacitor as soon as it drops below what the dc bus is then there's no more current no more charging so there's always going to be some ups and downs that's normal so but i can clean that up a little bit by put maybe adding a couple extra capacitors in parallel to the dc bus and i might possibly just put a uh, bolt a external rectifier chip onto a heat sink and just stick it in They're not that big i could take i got some old inverter boards from big mini splits and whatnot i might just take one of those and, and mount it It'd be pretty interesting just to do it and then that way i won't be using any of the rectifiers inside the other thing i was going to do is maybe take apart one of my vfds i have several of those vfds and i've used two of them now so i think i have at least one or two more so i can maybe take one apart as long as it doesn't destroy it, take it apart. If I can see what those diodes are. So other than that, the unit's running fine. Um, I'm only doing this just because I noticed the weird readings on the input. On my system, looking at the Ecobee, it's kind of nice to be able to look at it on the desktop or on the app. So, <laughs> started to become a little bit of a fan of the Ecobee. That's pretty scary because it's intrusive Big Brother stuff. But anyway, one stage. My system is like 456 right now in like 107, 108 out still. And it's dropping down to the first stage, bouncing back and forth. And anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the video I made the other day. Um, when I came home, got early, hit home early enough that the sun was kind of up still and I pulled the uh, disconnect on the AC utility to see if it would run off the solar by itself. And at 40 hertz, it certainly did. So. Maybe tomorrow on Saturday, I'll remember to kick it up to 60 hertz, go out there and pull my AC line, disconnect, and see if it uh, solar um, is enough to run my unit on full tilt. That would be kind of cool if it is. Look at the DC bus now. See the ripple on it. The ripple. Of course. You know, that has six diodes in there normally to charge the DC bus through three phase power through all the combinations and through a one time period. But I'm just doing single phase input 
then there's gonna be a longer gap in between, you know, each uh, the sine wave, which is gonna be the one period. Still charges the DC bus, but you're gonna get the ripple and it's gonna have a lot of current you know, each time. I'm still trying to get something hooked up to where I can actually see accurately the current spikes on an oscilloscope. The amps, like right now, it's got a pretty good load on this thing. It's hot outside. 7.8 amps. 7.8 amps is all it's running on the output. And full load, the RLA, is a 9. Nine run load amps at the three phase, and it's drawn just under what I say it was just under eight. Yeah, seven point eight basically. It's probably pulling uh, drawn the correct power off off the on grid. It's it's just that my amp meter just spooked me out reading nineteen twenty amps. Should be probably pulling like you know twelve thirteen probably at the most so maybe I'll try looking at borrowing another meter uh, you know what my sparky friend knowing him he probably has all fluke stuff and my amp probe even my big amp probe it's supposed to be true R unless it's, it doesn't read any different but look amp probe AMP 330 true RMS of course that could be on volts the amp I don't know I mean it's got multiple amp um, readings and when you turn it on to amps you hit the select button and it go and you look at this it shows DC DC plus AC or just AC and then you know, it kind of goes through those but no matter what setting I put it on it reads high right now 18 amps it's cooled off a little bit. DC, I don't know what that, I mean, you have the DC plus AC, whatever that means, 18.3, or go back to that, 18.2. Doesn't matter if we put on the high. It's got two settings. One is for like, it shows you putting the, the lead right there in that little dimple right there. I think that's for low amps. The compressor's running just like it should, and the, the amps output is just like it should be. And if I put my meter on that output, it actually reads within a tenth or so of what the VFD says. So I think I'm just getting weird, a weird reading on the rectified current draw to the capacitors, just like somebody said uh, on the YouTube there. So I will just continue to let it run, but as I get a chance, I might, you know, Frankenstein some ways to try to take a reading. One of these days, I want to get a good I just want to actually see what it does on the oscilloscope. Trying to get that. Call it quits for the night. Sun is going down.